ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I'm Stylosa. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some tips on mouse sensitivity and also where to aim when you play Overwatch. And this does apply to almost every FPS. Although there are some... Um, hello there. There are some um, Overwatch-specific things which I do want to talk about. Especially with the way I've got my sensitivity set up. So, is this you, ladies and gentlemen? Do you have your mouse way too sensitive? Now... I think a lot of the people, when they put the mouse like this, it's generally because they want to be able to move on to the targets quick, move on to the targets quick, move on to the targets quick, quickly jump behind and all of that kind of stuff. The problem is when your mouse is too sensitive, it's very, very difficult to do this. So I'm going to try and take these guys out. You can see, that, I mean, I would have killed that guy if I had my normal sensitivity set up. Forced to right click just to make sure I get the hit. Got him, maybe. Where's the next one? Yeah, that's okay. Get this guy. Ah, I, I mean, I totally missed him, which is pretty bad. So what is different with Overwatch and how is this a little bit different with other FPS games? Well, generally in other FPS games, right, I'd have a really low sensitivity cell. Let's maybe say it would be three, okay? Um, this is really slow, right? It's way more stable, so I can sort of aim, get onto the targets much quicker. You know, I can pick this guy up. I'm moving on to him, and I can sort of move out onto these guys when they come through the door. Um, move on to that guy, move over there. It looks like we're getting a bit of lag, actually. Um, but anyway, we'll go for that. So I can move on to these guys, move on to that, move over there. You know, it, the aiming is way more stable. It's not jumping all over the screen. Problem with this kind of sensitivity, which, as I said, is a sensitivity I would use, a much lower sensitivity um, with FPS games, is over what you can get attacked from behind. So you imagine if I attack this guy here. So if I kill him, then I want to turn around really quick. It's it's too slow to turn around. You can't do sweeping movements to turn around. It's too slow. And I think you need to Well, you need to you need to plan for that. So what I do is I increase my sensitivity quite a bit. Now, I've gone up to six. Now this is how I always play Overwatch. So I should be used to this, but this means I can turn around much quicker. So if I'm attacking this direction, I can turn around here. And then I can turn around here. It's not a complete turnaround. I mean it is if I get the sweeping motion right on the mouse. But it means that I can, I've got a much more stable aiming platform, okay? So I can take, do the damage to people. So if I just go through this section now with the, the sensitivity I always use. So I can do the damage. You know, I, I can level the headshots up much easier than I would before. Because, and then maybe I need to acquire a new target. There's a new target. Quick move off him there to turn around. Maybe I'll melee him or something, I don't know. We run in and we, we get a bit of that off. We jump around here. We do a bit of this. The fact is, I'm obtaining targets much quicker and much more reliably than I would be if I had a higher sensitivity. Now, like I said at the start of this video, this isn't a mega super detailed guide. I am not telling you what DPI to have your mouse at. I'm not telling you the specific setup you need your mouse in. What I'm saying is... Consider using a reduced sensitivity to what you're used to. And use the training area as well. Because this will actually... You know, you'll be able to get your aim up here. It's better than trying to cha train on, on in live games, I suppose. See, I need to train because I miss all the bloody time. I'm moving around. I'm trying to get used to the way I move. I'm trying to get used to landing headshots. Getting the reloads in. Maybe I'll jump over here and, I don't know, take that guy up from the back. Quick cheeky reload in. Shoot that guy in the head. Shoot this guy in the head. Get a reload in. Found the hammer. Didn't get him. Reload. from the, the hammer. Didn't get him. Because he, he ducked and dived away. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to make this video, guys. So I noticed a shitload of people are using... The, the mouse is way too sensitive. And going back to the way to aim as well. Always keep the bloody crosshair in the middle of the screen. Almost at head height. So you can move around nice and slow. You don't want to do this. This is a cardinal sin. Do not move around looking at the floor like this. You cannot see what's going on. So yeah, just to recap. Consider reducing your sensitivity. Practice in the training ra uh, range as well. And um, practice keeping your cursor at head height or around head height so you can land headshots a bit more reliably. Also, practice doing fast movements so you can turn around really quick. Sometimes you can see I can do it in two motions. Like I know if I'm getting attacked from the right, I can do that and I'm looking at the right. I'm looking at the left. I'm looking at the right. I'm looking at the left. So if I look to the left and get an attack, acquire a target, take the shot. Now I'm getting shot from behind. I can jump around, acquire the target. A much more stable aiming platform. Because what you don't want is your mouse picking up all of your little tremors and little movements, which it will do. Because if I just jump back to the high sensitivity, you'll see that, well, it picks up 
like a lot of a lot of little movements. I mean, look, look at that. That's not good, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, I thought this would help you guys. Let me know if it did help you in the comments below. I've been Stylus. This is Unit Lost. If you like Overwatch, then subscribe to the channel. And if you like VR content, because also I make a load of that, subscribe to the channel. And if you like podcasts, then subscribe to the channel because we do have a, a wonderful show called Hotfix, which is magnificent. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch you next time. Nope. Too loop. <laughs>